when the narcissist realizes they're nothing. When they realize they're not as important or special as they thought. When they're confronted with the unpleasant consequences of their actions. Narcissists show a reckless lack of care and attention. They are heedless of danger and of the consequences of their actions. They are thoughtless and careless. They show a lack of care about risks and danger. They act without thinking about the results of their actions. It's their way of life. But there are certain consequences that come along with the way in which they choose to live. They may initially escape their punishment. They may go unnoticed and undealt with. But over time it will begin to catch up with them. They will be confronted with the consequences of how they choose to live. You may have been good to them. You may have showed a lack of desire for revenge. But not everyone is like that. Some people aren't going to put up with it. Some people are going to want revenge. Some people are going to see an opportunity. Sometimes the narcissist will run into another narcissist. But it will be someone who has more knowledge and skill than the narcissist you were with. And they will get them involved in a difficult and confusing situation. They will get them so involved in an activity that they do not notice other things. Because the narcissist was always looking for the next shiny new toy. The next bigger better deal. They were always looking for a way to obtain high rates of return for a small investment. That's what they're drawn to. So they believe they're going to get something out of it. They believe that it's going to pay off. Because they don't realize that they're being played. This new person is telling them all sorts of lies and stories to keep them engaged. They have set up a scheme to manipulate people with this type of mentality. So the narcissist attaches themselves to this new person. But this new person is just doing it for excitement and fun. They just want to see if they can succeed. So the narcissist commits themselves to this new person. But after some time, they begin to realize that this new situation isn't benefiting them. And they never expected that to happen. So they may have already married this new person. They may have had children together. They may have bought a house together. But this new person will pretend to cooperate. Because narcissists don't care about how things turn out. They don't care about the consequences. They're not planning on being there long term anyway. But the narcissist invested all of their time, energy and money into this new situation. Because they thought they were going to get something out of it. They didn't know that the other person was also a narcissist who was deceiving them. So everything falls apart. The narcissist is left with nothing. 
the new person moves on to another victim. And now they're left without any understanding of what just happened. When you lose the narcissist to another person, that person is often a narcissist as well. They just knew how to persuade the narcissist that you were with to support them. They knew how to impress the narcissist. They knew how to seek their favor and affection. Female narcissists will use their physical appearance. They will take pictures and reveal an outfits. They will use seductive poses. While male narcissists will use money, power, and status. Because it draws certain types of people in. Narcissists feel like they can benefit from that. They feel like they can get something out of it. They're very gullible and over trusting. They're easily persuaded to believe something. So they will go over the top. They will go above and beyond for this new person. To such an excessive and exaggerated degree. They will give them compliments. They will express their approval and admiration for them. They will go to the point of complete insanity. They will do things that most people wouldn't do because they want something. And in that moment, they have no consciousness of their own dignity. They have no shame. There's no boundaries or limits. And that's how they stay ahead of the competition. That's how they gain the advantage over other people because they're willing to do things that most people wouldn't do. They don't realize that they're dealing with another narcissist, but that's how it works so well. They both know what the other person wants because they're both narcissists. So they're selling dreams to each other. They're selling fantasies and they're both just eating it up. The male narcissist will compliment her. He will text her good morning beautiful every day. He will make her feel special. Which is exactly what she's looking for after things didn't go well with you. They know how to lure and entice away people. Who are in these types of situations. They know how to trap them. So the narcissist will trick and confuse you into thinking that they've got to be somewhere or do something and then they will just disappear. You won't hear from them because they're involved with this new person. And when two narcissists are pursuing each other, it works very well in the beginning because they're both playing a role. They're both putting on an act. They're both running game. So they know exactly what the other person wants. They know exactly what to say. They know exactly what to do. But it's all nonsense. It's all fake. The narcissist was always looking for the bigger, better deal. They were always looking for the next shiny new toy. They were always on social media, comparing their situation to other people's situation. They were always looking at other people's lives until they saw something they liked, until they saw something they wanted. And that is when they began to devalue you. They began to put you down and make you feel like you're not good enough. They began to cheat on you. They began to invest their energy and emotions into something else. They started pushing you away. They started arguments for no reason. 
They wanted an excuse for them to leave. Because something else had their attention. They found something which they thought was a better deal than you are. Without realising that they were being tricked and deceived. They're both not who they're saying they are. They both have other people that they're entertaining. And they're both trying to take advantage of each other. But they're both trying to force each other into doing what they want. Which is where the argument starts. Because they both desire power and control. And someone has to submit. Someone has to take a seat. But neither of them are willing to do that. So there's going to be a big problem. Because as they're trying to develop something, they realize that they're not gaining an advantage. They realize that they were sold a dream. They were lied to. Because they're not doing what they said they were going to do. And many of them don't even have the means. They don't have the financial resources. They don't have the ability to accomplish what they set out to do. So they begin to realize that they've been tricked. They begin to realize that they're dealing with someone who is just like them. Someone who is only looking out for themselves. And now it's too late. Because they lost so much in the process of trying to acquire this new person. They thought they were going to gain an advantage over you. They thought they were going to do better. So they treated you in an extremely unfair way. They told you they don't need you anymore. But then it all fell apart. It didn't work out. The new person was a narcissist too. They both deceived each other. That's all it was. It was fake. But they treated you like garbage. Because they thought they had won the jackpot. They thought they would never need to deal with you again. Which got them in a lot of trouble. Because they didn't consider the consequences of their actions. They didn't consider what might happen in the future. So they cut you off. Because they thought they had found a perfect situation that was going to solve all of their problems. But it didn't turn out that way. They ended up being misled. And then it's like they just disappeared off of the face of the earth. Especially if you know about what happened to them. They can't even come back to look you in the eye no more. They're too embarrassed. Because after everything they said to you. About all of these big things they're going to be doing without you. And they told you you're nothing. And they said that they were going to be traveling the world. They were going to be moving to Dubai. And living the life of their dreams. But then they discovered that this new person wasn't about anything anyway. They were just running game. They're working in Tesco. So now they can't come back. They can't even look you in the face. Because they're embarrassed. They're full of shame. They told you they're going to be doing all of these big things. And now they're working all day. They're running themselves into the ground. 
and then they come home and they're sitting in their studio apartment surrounded by cockroaches eating ramen noodles every night that's embarrassing so they will ghost you they will stay hidden because they don't want you to know about it and sometimes you won't know because they're very good at creating an illusion they know how to coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect so you may be thinking that they've moved on and they're happy without you and they will take pictures to make you think they're doing well but if you were a fly on the wall you would be laughing at them you would be laughing because what they're doing now is nothing to brag and boast about but they thought they had hit the jackpot they thought this new person was powerful and important because that's how they portray themselves to be until they realized that it was all a lie and when that happens they will disappear because they don't want to give you the satisfaction they don't want you to laugh at them after they told you they don't need you anymore they made you believe that they were victorious over everything that they were too strong to be defeated so they don't want you to know that they've been tricked but this is when they realize they're nothing they show a modest and low estimate of their importance because it's not easy for them to find a suitable replacement but this is what's going on when they stop posting pictures of the new person when they disappear from social media because they don't want you to know about it after they made you feel like you're nothing and they were never grateful for what you did for them but when the situation is reversed and you gain an advantage over them they can't deal with it they won't even contact you they won't even try to return because they're so embarrassed especially if you know about it because they're already expecting you to laugh and make jokes at their expense so they don't want to hear that they already feel stupid they don't like losing and if you know about it and you're making fun of them they don't want that they're not going to put themselves in a position where they will be humiliated Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.